Hello, and welcome back to Crafting a Life I Want. This is an update to my Frosty Tea Burner video. When I posted that video in the Home Built Forges group in Facebook, Trevor Jonason was kind enough to help me understand some of the inaccuracies of my original video, and walk me through some changes I could make and what I should expect. I made two changes to my burner that allowed me to see a significant increase in performance. I heated up the merchant's coupling and flared it out with a ball peen hammer, which you can see here. I also shortened my MIG tip nozzle so that it was located in the middle of the tee rather than towards the bottom of the tee. One of the main things I learned was that the frosty tea burner functions much better once the forge has had a chance to come up in temperature. To accomplish this, I choked the air input initially, testing every few minutes until the forge had increased enough that I could run the entire range of my regulator without losing the flame. Another option would be to change out the 1 inch by 3 quarter inch tea for a straight 3 quarter inch tea. I have not had a chance to test this, but I've been told this will allow the burner to function better initially without sacrificing on the other end. The last thing I want to mention is that the movement or dancing you see in the flame is not desirable. This is caused by a crooked hole through the tee, which in turn means my MIG tip isn't pointing straight down the pipe. I'm again posting the instructions I used here, and linked below as reference for anyone that would like to take a try at building their frosty tea burner. I will add that spending some time in the Home Built Forges group on Facebook would also be very beneficial with some of the tuning that can be done to achieve better results. Thanks for watching, and if you like the content, please subscribe and hit the like button. Links to the parts I used, as well as Amazon Affiliate and other links to support the channel are also in the description below.